finding the midpoint of two points completing o levels at the age of 11 and a levels at 13 don't make your kids ordinary make them extraordinary enroll for a free webinar on olevels.com now finding the midpoint of two points now first of all what exactly is the midpoint the midpoint as the name suggests is a point that lies exactly between two points for example this is city a and this is city b we can think of these as two points the point that will lie exactly in the middle of these two points is what we can call the midpoint now we have three points the same three points we were working with in the previous video this is point a b and c let's look at point a and c what would exactly be the midpoint of point a and c it would be the point that lies somewhere right in the middle about over here but how do we exactly find the exact value of the midpoint well given any two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 we can find the midpoint of these points by using the formula midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 let's find the midpoint between point a and point b as examples point a is 8 3 and point b is minus 7 6 we can call any one of these points x1 y1 and any other point x2 y2 i am going to call the point a x1 y1 and i am going to call point b x2 y2 now it's pretty self-explanatory what we have to do all we do now is plug in the value of x1 y1 and x2 y2 in this formula so let's do just that x1 is 8 and x2 is minus 7 y1 is 3 and y2 is 6 so we get 8 plus minus 7 over 2 and 3 plus 6 over 2 8 plus minus 7 a plus and a minus make a minus so this becomes 8 minus 7 over 2 the rest remains the same what is 8 minus 7 8 minus 7 is 1 what is 3 plus 6 3 plus 6 is 9 so this becomes 1 over 2 and 9 by 2. 1 over 2 is the same as 0 0.5 and 9 over 2 is the same as 4.5. So the midpoint between point A and point B is 0 0.5 and 4.5. What does that exactly mean? It means that the point 0 0.5 and 4.5 will lie exactly in the middle of A and B. We can see this. This is 0 0.5 on the x-axis and this is 4.5 on the y-axis. So this is the point that's the midpoint between A and B. I'm going to call this M. We can observe that if we draw an arrow going from A to B, then M lies exactly in the middle of A and B. So by now, you should have a pretty solid understanding of what a midpoint is and how do we find it. Now, as an exercise, why don't you try finding the midpoint between C and B? Completing O levels at the age of 11 and A levels at 13. Don't make your kids ordinary. Make them extraordinary. Enroll for a free webinar on olevels.com now.